have been here 10 times. This is my first Christmas trip. And my favorite experience has been seeing all the kids that I get to see on other trips. I get to see them all in one week and celebrate Christmas with them and just love on them. And what would you say to someone who is contemplating on coming on a, a trip next year, maybe a little unsure, what would you say then? Say to them. Go. Don't hesitate. In Matthew it tells us to go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You come thinking maybe there's some things that will be difficult or hard, but it, it, God just shows up. He shows up constantly. He'll use you like you've never been used before, and you'll go home a changed person. You think you're coming to bless them, but actually you get blessed. So there is no reason to hesitate because that's what we were created to do. And so when you're on the mission field, you finally feel like this is what I'm supposed to be doing, and this is what I was created to do. Now there are some, last question, there are some who, who may be hesitant to come because of the recent, fairly recent unrest and that sort of thing. So talk a little bit about that. So I came in July and August with my oldest daughter. She's 21. So we were here a little closer to when the unrest was going on. We felt safe then. I feel even more safe now. I've never felt unsafe in this country. With chosen children, they always make sure that we're protected and safe. And, and so they take great care of us. And then, of course, the pastors in the churches and the locals, they, they all love us. They all know that we're here to love them and support them. And we're all brothers and sisters. So I've never felt unsafe in this country, and I certainly do not now. And I would also say that because of the unrest, the need is greater than ever. So they need food, they need the gospel, they need the church to rise up. And so just because we're from another country, we are the church, we are the body of Christ. So we need to come now, not soon, not when we think it's convenient. We, we need to come now and we need to love on this country and love on our brothers and sisters because my hope would be if ever our country was in the same position, they would come love on us and they would help us. So be the body of Christ.